what, a, what about a dude named Battle Truth? You ever heard of him? Battle Truth. I think Battle Truth, he tells it from his perspective. He, he, I've seen some of his stuff. I'm not familiar with all of it. But I think <laughs> that funny. He, he's funny. He, he, I think in the beginning, because I remember when I first started seeing him, <laughs> he, tried, he tried to have this judge theme. And I think he realized just being straight up was the best thing for him. You know, he's I mean? himself. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, but it's yeah, yeah, nah, so, nah, so, so. nah. But but he's hilarious. Battle nah, two. he's wild hilarious. He's also got his own thing. You feel what I'm he's saying? He's mad funny. You know what I mean? So but like he, with, with him though, another thing with him, like, and I'm not talking bad about him. I respect him. I like him. I, mm -hmm. I watch his channel. I watch. I watch like him. A judge and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. I, I go to his <laughs> channel. I, I, I can say. Myself before I go to anything else, you go to Battle True first. I go to Battle True first. I'm being honest. That's crazy. I want to see what you talk about. How you saying it? But this up, okay. Battle Truth on YouTube. You are one of my official go-to sources. As you know, I'm still involved in battle rap behind the scenes. I put my hands on that little girl, and y'all seen the proof, the paperwork, the video. But your unbiased review is to accept them weirdos cover story and make me battle truth. And, for and it's true. At first I was a fan, but now I'm angry. And you've been up here doing all that cap. Y'all niggas crucified battle truth. Even when he provided proof, y'all said he was lying. Norb's casting couch like Harvey Weinstein, but he didn't try to deny it. What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters along with my lovely, beautiful co host, Miss Jess Max Out Three, going down. Young Ill make his battle rap debut going up against Big K, who people were trying to say is the front runner for champion of the year this year. I highly disagree with that, and I'm going to keep saying that they trying to force him wins that he don't deserve. He lost to murder Moot. Moot beat him three zip. They didn't want to acknowledge he stole bars. Those light average rounds, uh, 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 raps he was saying with them, no. And that ain't hate, that's just the truth. He lost to T-Rex also, 2-1. I gave T-Rex the first two, gave him the third. He lost to T-Rex with that lame angle of trying to say the man was a pedophile and he was locked up for rape none of that was true and people just trying to run with anything just to try to force him to win no sorry ain't gonna happen brother i'm gonna call you out on it because you don't deserve to get it when you didn't earn it and we ain't forcing wins just because we don't like somebody like y'all trying to do because mooka rex don't want to get y'all interviews or don't be on y'all channels or y'all ain't got relationship with them. So y'all want to wave the flag and sabotage people careers because they won't be y'all friends. Like get up out of here. So you lost both of your last two battles back big K. Would you be able to redeem yourself on this young ear? Would you be three now talking about he 30 and people they talking about, oh, he, I, I mean, I heard Butterfly, that little dude going to talk about. Big K beat Moot. Easy. Uh, easy 30. Man, stop. see, when they say stuff like that, that's when you know they lying. That's when you know their agenda. But guess what? We ain't dumb. We know Butterfly and them over there don't even like Rex or Moot them because they cave gang. They Tay Rock. They Tay, they in Tay Rock them group. They over there with them. Boy, don't get me started. I already know how to eat. Like I said, that's why I be trying to tell you, sis. And like you finding out in this community, these battle rap bloggers are fake as hell. They ain't nothing but groupies who want to be involved, who want to be in the in crowd, who want to be connected, who want to be known, who want to be in the mentions. They sabotage people's careers, hate on you, lie on you. And if you ain't, no, that's how fake these dudes is. This is one of the reasons why I don't get along with none of them clowns for the most part. For the most part, it's a couple I can tolerate. But for the most part, these these dudes is fake as hell, sis. Like literally fake, fake, fake as hell. And these be the reason why. And this one of the things that blew me up when I came to this community because these guys ain't genuine. They ain't authentic. They can't be trusted. They liars and they God haters. These dudes don't have no sense of 
morality, integrity, or nothing at all. But anyway, going off into this thing, Young Eel make his de debut. Right. And again, he ain't been looking good in the, the, his upcoming battles. This ain't the same Young Eel. The light is gone from him. He don't have that light he used to have. He don't have that swag he used to have. The man looked like he a damn citizen, senior citizen, man. Like, I, it, it's terrible how this brother looking right now. As far as like when you know how he used to look, how he used to carry himself, he had like a glow to him. He had a swag to him. That's terrible what you're seeing now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm just going to keep it 100, man. I ain't liking what I'm seeing, man. I ain't liking what I'm seeing, man. I heard him rapping today. I didn't like it. it. It didn't sound. Look, it was a bunch of nothing. I'm just going to keep it 100. It was just a bunch of nothing to me. It was just a whole lot of nothing to me. Nothing. I'm just listening to him rap saying nothing. Nothing at all. Like, literally listening to him rapping saying nothing to the point I couldn't even really write down nothing he was saying. It was so weak. It was just weak. It just sounded like rap. It's all it just sounded like rap. Rapping ain't saying nothing. I only gave him 10 points in the first round. Big K just dancing around him, man, the first round. Big K has something like, uh, I put the K in front of Eel, Kill. Let me spell it out for you. Uh, Hold on, what I got right here? Uh, the Redemption ex, uh, Exhibition line. You doing it to be redeemed, but this is an exhibition for me. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, this is an exhibition for me. Um, I stared deaf in the eyes and made it blink first. That was nice. You took the glass, you took the glass like Shaq. You took the glass break like Shaq in Orlando. That was nice. The uh bury you under the snow, snow ill under the weather. That was nice. Never was good. You never was good like candy corn. That was nice. Um, I'm not trying to stop, stop ish. Till it stepped on. That was nice how he put that. Um, it was just easy for Big K. This was a walk in the park, man. I gave Big K 21 points to Young Eel, 10 points in the first round. It was just a walk in the park, man. How did you call that first round? Um, the first round, it will, I mean, Young Eel started off first. Um, in my opinion, it was a solid for so far when he started up. As far as his first round back in battle rap, it was solid, but then it didn't really, it lost gas really quickly. Um, he had one line about how he got all these black homies, but he still put raisins in his macaroni. That was cool, but I guess that was a haymaker to the crowd. It was gassing him up as far as I'm concerned. Um, Big K even knew he was about to dog walk L. Like um, Big K was laughing <laughs> through the bars that L was saying because he was like, "Yeah, I'm about to cook this boy." And so I felt after L's first round, I said, "You're gonna need more than this if you are gonna beat Big K." Um, Big K comes in right off the rip, killing. Um, punching he starts off the rip with with a big a big um opener he says k is in front of his front k is in front of ill let me spell it out for you and it was just that lighted up the room and he had none of his people he said with him so the crowd reaction to be able to have that much crowd control was amazing to see um out the gate it was crazy um and he said had some uh, he had some more punch lines like you said earlier um, I liked how he closed it. <laughs> um, he was like, when you think you're doing good, just keep in mind you suck. Welcome to battle rap. Don't die too much. And I literally was rolling. Um, I felt like 
the first round, Big K came and showed out. And I, I wanted him to stop. Like, okay, we already know you showed improve. You, you overkill it now. So, in my opinion, Mr. Big K won the first round. And I felt like Ill Bill needed to pick up the pace if he's going to. Young Ill. I'm oh, sorry. I kept, what am I saying? Ill Will. Ill Will. Young Ill need to pick up the, the pace if he's going to be Big K because the slow flow is not going to work with how Big K rhymes. And I think I'll touch on that in the second the second um, round, but yeah. Yeah, okay. so going into the second round, uh, I called it just like you did in the first round. Big K easily walking the park. Going to the second round, Young Ill, once again, you already know after you hear the first, things ain't going to get better from down. Ain't Things ain't going to get better. That's exactly what the second round of Young Ill was. No different than the first round. You want him to do good because you remember what he used to do, but you have to just come to reality and know it's over. He he He, he not the same. He, you're not going to get young ill back like he was at, at one time in his career where this guy would actually electrify a room and shake a building and destroy you with one round those days are over it's over for him for this point it's just a check it's just a check and these guys so prideful and arrogant man and it seems like they teams don't even want them to do good because how you come into battles with these with a verb them all behind you and they hearing your material and giving you the green light on this, knowing you about to get killed. Yeah. How do you, how do you see what's going on? Even allow yourself to be deceived by what you bring into the table to think that you finna really have a chance. Why would you embarrass yourself like that? And it's crazy. <laughs> Cause in that second round, it wasn't no different. Same old thing, man. Just rapping, saying a bunch of nothing. Like when you were listening to him rap, said, so wasn't it just like a bunch of nothing? You like, okay, you just you just rapping. And out of respect, you're not getting booed because most of the people in there are from St. Louis. That wouldn't have survived on the URL stage. If you was on the URL stage, boo. Okay? Boo. So he like I'm gonna give you an example of some of the trash lines he said. I had to write it down. He said, these hands ain't going nowhere like a broken clock. Right. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Like, these hands ain't going nowhere like a broken clock. Like, come on, man. <coughs> Verb standing behind him with the main face like he getting off like, mm, no, no, sorry. No, 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 no. Man, get out of here with that trash. Then, like I said before, yeah. the blue room was going to expose him. And that's exactly what it did. In that blue room, you got to hear all those trash bars. You got to hear people gassing up nothing because it ain't even landing. Mm -hmm. and it was terrible. So I only gave him nine points in the first round. That's it. And I was being very generous. I was being very generous. Because I knew he wasn't going to win any damn way. Hell, I could have gave him 15 points. I knew he wasn't going to win. Oh. <coughs> Big K going the second round. Big K Big K second round wasn't good neither. It was very lackluster. It wasn't really good neither. He was saying a whole bunch of nothing, light bars, just like he was rapping in the moot battle, just like he was rapping in the T-Rex battle, while y'all trying to make him seem like he's some superstar juggernaut that just smoking people. His second round was very light. Oh. Will, heel, steel, till, drill, bill, lil. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but I did like when he said, uh, you like a body to open doors. You like a skeleton key. That was a nice line. Uh, you sing till it's all over like Fantasia. That was nice. Uh I put more dots in the bed than bed bugs. That was, that was nice. Cool. Yeah, but other than that, it was it was light. His second round was light as hell. But he did, but it was good enough to beat young Eel. I gave That's young Eel right. nine and I gave him 12. That's how light his first round was. And it was terrible. It, it wasn't again. While y'all try to parade this man as being champion of the year, giving him wins. No, he on a 
he on a two two battle losing streak, and he needed to go up against Young Eel, and this is why he's right. not champion of the year. Right. Like, get up out of here. Go ahead, sis. So, second round, I pretty much have the same um, impression as you. <laughs> Making no sense. Uh, Elwell was backed up by, you know, some gaffes. He had his little crew with him. Um, he had one line talking about pull up on him like an emergency break. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was I was yeah. very disappointed, especially how everybody was hyping up how Ill Will and Big K is gonna be this dynamic electrifying match, and it was not happening at all for me. Like I did not like Ill Will. Uh, Daddy saying Ill Will. Ill Will. <laughs> It's not good with names. I'm not good with names, but uh, I was not impressed with Young L's round. It was not. Have you have you ever accidentally I, called a man by another name in the heat of passion? Um, yeah, but it wasn't like a, another man's name. It was just the wrong name. <laughs> so, uh, that's another. That's another man's name. What like if your name is James and I call you John, but I would be calling you that since the first day I met you. Like if your name was Mackenzie and I kept calling you Mark, I'd be doing that since day one. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot your name. Oh, you, but like, you definitely like, can't do that in sex. I don't. I ain't no such thing. No, no. So it's gonna be a name that you always knew me to get wrong. So that's why when I first meet somebody, I'm like, okay, I need to call you a special <coughs> name so I don't forget it. So I usually um, have pet names so I don't forget people's names. Yeah. Um, so I don't have that happen. But no. Um, what I was gonna say, so Big K was good. I like the McCoy paying for your debut line. Um, also in and Young Ill's round, it looked like his dentures was about to fall out. It and was. Uh, Big K at the end of his thing had a rebuttal for the teeth. <laughs> and said, what? He, that went so, crazy. Big K be snapping on them dudes. Dude. Like, <laughs> I saw that. I saw that too. <laughs> that was crazy. And so what I was gonna say in the first round, so uh, what's his name? Young Ill's flow is kind of slow. It's a slow flow. You get to hear everything. But then Big K, I think what works for him and what gets him to have you feel like he's being, he's spitting hard bars is his flow is very fast pace and he's aggressive with it. So anything he could be like, yo, I saw this dog walk down the street and he peed on the sidewalk. Like his, like he, the way he's delivering his bars, his fast pace makes you, you makes you feel like he's about to say something hard, but he's really just saying nursery rhymes, and so that's where he tricks you. But if you're really listening close, if you're really typing like I am to type up what he's saying, I'm like, okay, that's cool, but it's not like a room shaker. Where's the haymakers at? But he has some punches, like I said earlier, and I think you said mentioned them too. As far as the um, McCoy, the teeth falling out of his dentures, falling out his mouth, and um, <laughs> some some slick punches over there. But other than that, if you really are listening to what he's saying, it's just him rapping flat, fast. He, he just has a nice flow. But the, the, the lyrical pen game, I don't see him being rapper of the year. But anyways, that was, the, that was my um, second round, Big K1. Because right. Young L was just not just that bad, <laughs> giving nothing at all. Nothing, just rapping, saying a bunch of nothing. We bring me to the third round again, just saying. T it was just, it was more entertaining just writing down some of his trash lines. He's <laughs> laughing at it, right? The Stop man laughing. said a line like this: "The man said, I'm blowing up off the floor like a hot, like a like an air mattress." I'm blowing up off the floor like an air mattress. Bro, you still using the word blowing up like I'm blowing up like, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, it's just lack, It lacks no. power. It lacks power. No, lack no, power. no, 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 no. Then the man said this line, called himself popping knowledge. He said, yeah, this white man, the white man uh, uh, told us to pray to Jesus. You are an idiot. Ain't no white man tell us to pray to Jesus. We praying to Jesus before the white man even came around, man. Y'all well, do do your damn history. See, that's what I mean by not knowing nothing, just going by what people tell you. Yeah. You think Jesus was white, you idiot? 
Like you really believe Jesus with white? You, they, they were saying these people is stupid, man. These people don't know nothing. They can go by what anybody tell them. Look, we're not living in the 60s and 50s and 40s no more. That stuff has already been proven to be a lie. You got all the resources out here to show the truth. Stop living in the damn dark ages. That stuff, we, we in the era of information. All this stuff been proven already, okay? Mm. Terrible. But he said that trash. <laughs> But I will say this. He has some lines. Uh, he, he tried to put up a little bit fight in the third round. It just deal with trash overall. Yeah. Big K come in in the third. He has some nice multi-syllables to close it out, man. He said something about Young Ill. You only came back to battle rap because you started hearing the Coke So White lines. Damn. Right. <laughs> that everybody saying. Because, you know, look at him being a Coke head. Then he had the, uh, more lines getting cut than an amusement park. That was nice. He had the slow motion rowboat line. That was nice. He had uh, I've been so I've been so I've been nice ever since Burden, Ernie, and Laverne and Shirley. That was nice too. Mm -hmm. um, then he took some shots at Easy because he believed at the end of the year him and Easy gonna have to do a battle to see who is the champion of the year. Neither one of y'all. U R B E Easy Strong 23. Stop using a URL title thinking y'all. Why are y'all coveting the URL title? Why won't y'all damn leagues put something up for y'all? Okay. Why are y'all coveting a URL? Why are they begging for this URL award? I don't know. That's crazy. They already said you ain't getting it unless you URL. Now, if you you want it that bad, you will you finna uh uh sign with URL. Okay, they might give it to you. Uh, next, you're not getting it. But I had Crazy. Big K with 22 points in the third round, three zip over Young Ill. I only gave Young Ill 14 points in the uh third round. He lost his battle. It's over. Young Ill, you in the same category as Reed Dollars, Jay Mills, Cassidy. Y'all brothers need look, bro. Get a ghostwriter. Why? Why you still could might get a check from somebody at this time? These people are retarded. If you know you can get paid off your name because your name was once big, man, get a ghostwriter and get this money. This ain't nothing but hustling. Look, battle rap ain't nothing but hustling. Get you a ghostwriter. Cause for the most part, people ain't gonna care. You got a ghostwriter. We just want to be entertained. Get a ghostwriter to write better for y'all so you could be good and relevant, bro, and milk the game. Milk the game. Stop trying to be prideful and arrogant, coming with this trash, thinking it's going to be accepted and you're going to get a big check for it. No, you're not. And you're hurting your stock because you're not good at all. And, I, and, and even though people want to see you winning, want to see you coming back, man, it's over for you, man. I'm just keeping it real. You lost this battle three zip, man. It's yeah. on you, Solid advice. Um, for third round, I have Elwell. He started to cook, in my opinion, but it was too late, honey. Um, <laughs> well, no, um, young L, he needed three of these third rounds to even compete with Big K. Um, if, if he had cooked up, you know, three of these thirds, he would maybe be even. He wouldn't have been able to get bodied, but he he didn't have it was too it was too late in the game to come come out with some decent bars. Um Ill's performance is the perfect example of being rusty. Um and he got better and better by round by round. So the first round he was very rusty, second round still kind of rusty, third round. He started to get some oil around them, them edges and actually have a flow and sound a little bit better um but it was too late um big k big k came back um real crazy in the third round and if you compare big k's third round with his second lyrically you could see the difference um he was packing more punches his material got better and i like the other he he broke it down where he was talking when he ended his round talked about uh, ice pack uh throw an ice pack basically how he beats he beats so and so he beat this person and now i'm gonna throw an ice pack in there um thought that was hot but yeah i have big k clearly clearing uh the third round and clearly 
beating Young L. Um, it was not a good debut battle for L at all. Man, it's over, man. Get a ghostwriter, bro. Like it, it's done, man. But you just you got a big check though. You know what I'm saying? You Woo! got a big check, right? It's tough, terrible. Your days are done, though. I'm just keeping it real. Days are done. I got Big K winning this battle three zip. He break his two. He break his uh two two gang losing streak. Yep. With a victory over uh. But Ill, that's not with, really with a, a hard victory. victory. Over Young Ill. Like that was easy. That was so not, but you know what they gonna be doing? That's crazy. They gonna be pumping it up like he beat somebody good. Like oh, he beat Young Ill. You don't get no credit for that. That that you you don't get no credit for beating them. Everybody know he he done. Y'all was just hoping that what you know to be true wasn't really true. And guess what? You found out that it is true. It's done. It's over for him. Okay. So, but they gonna pump it up and try to give him a victory like he beat the real young ill. He wouldn't have never beat. He wouldn't have never beat the old young ill before this drug thing that happened to him. That's actually affecting his mind and where he at right now and hurt and hindering his performance, he wouldn't have never beat him. Big K wouldn't, couldn't have never beat that young eel. But this young eel right here, everybody could beat him, man. Like, come on, man. No. Come on, we not doing that. So anything else before we get up out of here, sis? No. Me neither. But that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth along with my beautiful co-host, Miss Jess. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Um, We got to give y'all some more recaps and things like that. It is what it is. Um, God bless each and every last one of y'all, man. And keep us up in prayer. All right.